Hey, this is uh, Trey Stafford with the Software Development Group here at the National Snow and Ice Data Center. Uh, we're working to develop Q Greenland. I'm here with uh, my colleague, um, Matt Fisher, today, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about uh, symbology in, in QGIS and uh, how to properly style uh, layers. <clears throat> um, so right now we have a, uh, a velocity, an ice velocity data set. Um, that is um, currently using a, a kind of rainbow color map. And this is often a um, kind of a first choice when symbolizing data um, that uh, is, is often not really well suited for the, the data that's actually being displayed. Um, there's a number of problems with this particular color map. Um, for one, it's, it's not particularly colorblind friendly um, and, and it's not perceptually uniform. So even if you're not colorblind, um, you're going to get some artifacts in the data, such as this kind of yellow banding here that um, basically is misrepresenting the, the rate of change between adjacent values. And if we if we switch over to a, a color map Veritas that is uh, a little more perceptually uniform, you'll notice that that banding just, just goes away. Um, so, you know, Veritas it would be a great option for, for this particular layer, but um, you know, it may, it may not be the one that we really want to go for. Uh, you know, visualizing data in QGIS is pretty easy through the this symbology uh, <clears throat> um, menu for, for this layer, as, as we you can see open right now. Um, but unfortunately, the default color maps that QGIS makes available are, are kind of limited. And actually, there are, there are some included here in this list that, that we've added ourselves. Um, so, you know, when you're first opening QGIS for the first time, you probably see fewer than this. Um, so, you know, you, thankfully there's, there's a number of professionally curated color map resources that are available online um, that, that we can easily import into QGIS for our use. Um, and I'm gonna hand it off to my colleague, Matt, to, to discuss some of those options and why you might wanna use them. We've been using uh, the CM Ocean color maps a lot in our development of Q Greenland. Um, these were actually developed for oceanography, I believe by uh, the publication Oceanography. Um, and uh, they are actually useful for more than just oceanog oceanographic purposes. Um, for example, the balance color map provides a nice diverging color map from a cool color to a warm color so if you wanted to represent low and high temperatures this would be a good choice um, it provides um, a, and the color maps are also named specific to the purposes they imagined using so for example this oxygenation color map provides special areas for um, i believe super saturation and uh, hypoxic areas which are uh, below 20 percent and above 80 percent oxygen saturation um, and for this, we think we're going to use the speed color map. That seems like a good choice because we're trying to represent ice sheet velocity. Uh, in this case, they're representing um, ocean currents, I believe. Um, but this looks like it would be a good choice for us. Um, that's not provided, unfortunately, in the default QGIS install. Um, but we can get access to some other color maps. Um, there's a utility or a website called CPT City. You can just Google for uh, CPT City, and it should be the first result. It has a bit of a complicated URL, and we'll put that URL in the description of this video. Here you can find the CM Motion color palettes available on CPT City. And we'll go into QGIS and show how to access some CPT City color maps. Uh, first, let's open up the Style Manager and just be sure that the CPT City catalog has been added by clicking on this plus icon, selecting the catalog CPT City. And then back in the uh, regular symbology dialog, we can select Create New Color Ramp. And there we can select to create a color ramp from the CPT City catalog. And this will provide us with 577 color maps from CPT City. And unfortunately, CM Ocean is not part of this collection uh, as of the 3.10 long-term support release of QGIS. So let's just pick something here that's 
probably better than rainbow. That's how you would use one of those um, indexed CPT city color maps, but we want to actually just use something that's provided here but not indexed in QGIS. So what we're going to do is install a plugin called SVG2Color. Let's go to the Manage and Install Plugins dialog, search for SV <coughs> SVG, select SVG2Color and install it. I've already got it installed, so I don't have an install button, but that would be right here. Then from the Plugins menu, select SVG2Color, and this will be the dialog you'll be using. So first we need to get the URL of this online SVG color map. So right click the SVG button here. It's available in many other formats, but SVG seems to be the easiest for us to import. And we're going to select copy link location. And depending on what browser you're using, this is Firefox. This text might be slightly different. It may say copy URL, um, but we're going to click copy link location. And then back in QGIS, open up the SVG to color plugin dialog, select URL, paste the URL in, click get URL. It'll go and download that SVG style. And now we can click import and that will be available in our symbology menu. And that's how you do that. And it should also be noted, of course, that the uh, QGIS uh, documentation available online um, has a, a number of resources um, about uh, the topics that we covered in, in this video. Specifically, there's a this section here on using the style manager and goes in much more detail than, than what we provide in this short video. It's definitely worth taking a look at and we'll uh, provide the link to this in the description below as well. Thanks for your time. Okay.